Oh no, look at what has happened. We've already got some red on the board for night two here at Madison Square Garden. And uh, there were more jams to be had, of course. And they got it going early with the down. Well, not to overlook the back on the train opener. You know, what an opener that was. And it was just, what was it, four of them already this summer? And heavy rotation back on the train is. And then down with disease, of course, always is. And much like last night's Wave of Hope, uh, down with disease, not this big, powerful, explosive jam like we might get later on in most second sets. Uh, it was just all four guys working together. I don't know how long it ran, but it seemed like, you know, we didn't get shortchanged at all there with the down with disease jam. And then into the dogs, you know, I think a lot of us, including myself, have been looking for Martian Monster, even calling for your pet cat. But then, oh, they surprise us with the dog. So again, a nice trio to start the show. It seems to have been a theme here uh, throughout the summer. And, you know, it's not like it's intentional or anything. It all depends. You know, you may love Bug Sugar Shack Evolve, you know, but for, for me, it just seems like a lot of shows. They started out with a strong trio and then a a little bit of downtime here. And then tonight, you know, Trey's friend Jovi in the crowd again. You may remember her, the young girl that sang Bug with him out a few years ago. I believe made an appearance at another fish show, requested Bug. And uh, boom, Bug for Jovi again tonight. You know, she requested it. I'm uh, At first, I was like, come on, Trey, man, play another song for the girl. But she requests Bug, so... It turns out her second favorite song is more, so maybe we'll stick with Bug. No, I don't know. That, that's not true at all. I just totally, I bet you it is, though. I bet you she loves more. I mean, a lot of everybody loves more. I'm not, I'm not implying anything with that, you know. You know what? What do you think? She likes Julius and Zero, too? What are you saying? All right, so we get we get past the Bug here, but then on to Sugar Shack. And like I, you've heard me say a lot, I love the Mike Gordon songs. Big Mike Gordon guy over here. Sugar Shack, just not one of them. And it's not the fact that, like, if Trey flubs it or whatever, just never been a big Sugar Shack guy. So, look, here we got another Redless moment. And then Evolve, hey, you know, has it evolved yet into a great song? Not quite. Has the set devolved at this point? Eh, it sure has. Then we pull it back together a little bit for Horn and Foam. Definitely thought a friend of the channel Spud here, two of his favorites, back-to-back. -back. Horn and Foam. Foam being coming real strong, actually. And then, uh, hey, you like what I did there? And then Moon Age Daydream. <clears throat> Not the token set closer. Really heartfelt. Perhaps the only one we'll get all year. Uh, Trey, really, you know, going hard on Moon Age Daydream there. Uh, feeling the solo there at the garden. Feels That feels like a garden song, you know? You know, it does. I don't know why. A lot of songs do. It's a great, it's a great place, they say. It's a great place to have a show. So, while this was, you know, lacking some red here, um, another pretty good first set. Just, you know, I don't know. And like I said, it depends. If you love all of this, this if you love this trio of songs, well, that's probably a pretty raging set. You know, I mean, the down with disease and back on the train, though. All right, there's good enough. Because over here is where all the money's to be made. <sighs> Moon Age Daydream, I'll be damned, you know. <clears throat> Usually a little cover in the set. It's like, oh, come on. Short chain in us. Give us a fish classic. Well, it, this was awesome, man. It felt like it. It had that kind of like the, the sort of tray sound that I've been liking this year that we get a little bit later on here in Wig Suit. And uh, toward the end of the Fuego Jam, the wedge opens up the second set, though. You know, just running through that. A pretty normal wedge. Nothing going on. And then into the Fuego, we did get a lot going on. Well, it took a while, you know. It took quite a while. They were still dingling around in actual within Fuego for quite the time and then the jam gets going mike really just showing off in this one you know page making some weird sounds throughout but mike really the mvp of the fuego jam and then uh late in the jam trey coming in with that just sort of soaring sound not the wingsuit soaring sound and then oblivion was just if you know if page and mike uh specifically mike were really the mvps of fuego then oblivion you know once again i guess if it look if it's going to replace like soul planet and everything's right we're going to get a little less of them we're going to get a lot more Oblivion. We'll take that. You know, this one was all Trey. All Trey all the time. And then into Wingsuit, they're still feeling it. It was a, you know, the, <clears throat> maybe not a flawless Wingsuit. I always, tell, you know, lean back to like the Baker's Dozen, that era, 2017-ish Wingsuits was probably its grand old time. And, uh, but a great one tonight. Again, like I was saying earlier, there's just a sound that sometimes Trey hits, almost like a soaring sound, you know. You just picture Trey up there as his eyes closed. Like he's an eagle just flying through the air. Maybe some kind of a flying raptor of sorts. You never know. I don't know. I don't know if Trey's like, hey, eagles are pretty nasty as well. I don't know. Maybe Trey's like a, a hummingbird 
They, they don't really soar though. They're... <laughs> Things are crazy, man. All right, so on to 2001, and the show was not over at Wingsuit. While this felt like, all right, man, maybe after all the, you know, after all this madness, they needed to, uh, and soaring their way through this, maybe we were going to calm down here. No, but man, like a funked up, I don't know what was going on with this 2001. It didn't run long, but, uh, you know, it was kind of like a pop funk, maybe like Michael Jackson on shrooms or something, man. A really good 2001 there. And then that gets us into Hold Your Head Up, Cracklin' Rosie, Hold Your Head Up, the John Fishman special. And then in the so, as I start to uh, blend letters together here, Say It To Me, Santos, Going Strong, Sea Town has been visited. And then Farmhouse First, too. You know, pretty much after that 2001, we'll give it to them. You know, all this was really good, really good stuff. And, um, you know, how about Oblivion every time, pretty much, man. You know, one of the new ones. You know, even a, even a couple of the new ones were duds. A strong one like Oblivion, pretty good sign this deep. This deep into their career. Unbelievable. Hold your head up. Say it to me. I mean, Santos Farmhouse first, too. My goodness. I mean, the place was worked into a frenzy. Worked into a... Thank goodness they calmed them off a little bit. They took a little break. Walked off stage. Came back. Played Farmhouse. And then, and then you know, first, too. Much like Moon Age Daydream. Feeling it. All right, guys. So, that's night number two. Another really strong show. That's two of them. Can we get through this thing, man? Seven for seven. I'd say they're two for two. I know it appears it's lacking some red, but I don't know what I'm doing. Hang it on. Moment of silence for Crackling Rosie. That was real strong. That was real strong. Oblivion, once again. Wingsuit. I love it. Maybe someday. All right, guys. Boom. We're out of here. Thanks for tuning in. A little late tonight. A little late tonight. Forgive me. Forgive me. How about give me a thumbs up? All right, we're out of here.